What is up, y'all? This is your boy, Mystic Timbers Fanboy, coming in with a new video. And first of all, I'm going to go over two things. First of all, I'm going to go over analysis and what I think it's going to replace Volcano or Hypersonic Kings of Me. But first of all, this coaster looks amazing. The trains look good. Um, I'll try and show a photo of the trains, but um, the trains look awesome. Max Force looks like an awesome new roller coaster that will be opening. And Six Flags, I think it's Great America, yeah, Six Flags Great America. This ride looks awesome. It looks a little bit forceful. I'm not saying way forceful on top of the dragster, but I mean, I think this ride would just be a good attraction. This coaster, if you guys didn't know, is by, made by SNS Cyanide. That's what the ride is called. So, yeah, I think it's going to look awesome. It looks really forceful. So it's like that would be a good addition to Six Flags Great America. And first of all, I'm going to go over why I think it could replace Volcano at King's Dominion. Number one, I think maybe this type of coaster maybe made by SNS will replace maybe Hypersonic. Because Hypersonic Station is still there. It's still there. still isn't being used. I hope it's not going to be used for a haunted house because that would be really boring i mean i think cedar fair needs to quit doing that honestly they just need to quit making haunted houses out of old stations because that is going to get boring one day and i think it already has gotten boring with Wolfpack. i think Wolfpack needs to leave which i've said maybe maybe one time right now but <laughs> i don't know and basically i'm going to go over what hypersonic was if you guys know Hypersonic was a air launched, an SNS air launched roller coaster made by SNS Worldwide. That's what it was called from the early 1990s to the mid 2000s, like 2010, kind of that era. I hope you guys know what I mean. But now it's called SNS Sinai. Its name changed in 2013. And basically, this ride, um, basically, Hypersonic opened. March 24th, 2001, and it closed October the 28th, 2007, the same date as Firehawk closed, but not the same year. So, yeah. So, basically, like I've said, um, Hypersonic Station is still there. The blueprints are still there. It's, it's almost as a reminder, so I think a, a clone of Hypersonic should be rebuilt not a the exact clone but i think an inversion should be added so basically in 2021 i predict because there has been teasers going on about um king's demi and getting a new coaster in 2021 because the um, teaser says expedition is on horizon and if you count those little numbers it will add up to 21 the number 21 so I think King's Dominion will be getting its new attraction there. And it is definitely going to replace Volcano, the Blast Coaster, which will be missed, even though I have not ridden it. But I think a B&M launched wing coaster like Thunderbird will replace Volcano at King's Dominion. I believe this would be a good attraction, something like Thunderbird, but I don't want to see a clone. Of Thunderbird at King's Dominion. I think it should be way unique. That's really what I think. I think it would just be a good attraction. I think it would be the, be a worthy replacement of Volcano at King's Dominion. Because Volcano, a lot of people liked the Volcano. And some people were upset that Volcano left, unfortunately. Because my friend Nick was going to ride Volcano. He planned to ride it, but it ended up closing. That was the news, but, you know, that's another story. And, um, well, let me think what I was going to say. Like I was saying, Hypersonic Station has not been used in a long, 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 long time. I'll tell you that. I mean, something, like I was saying, like a clone should replace Volcano. I remember Coaster Studio said in his live stream when he he was streaming live at King's Dominion from the Eiffel Tower, he believes that um, he believes that um, a wooden coaster is going to replace Volcano at King's Dominion. 
I highly doubt a wooden coaster is going to replace Volcano King's Dominion because they already have Racer 75, which they retract in 20, I think it was 18, yeah, 2018, they retract Racer 75, and they already got Grizzly, which is a wooden coaster, King's Dominion. They don't need a another wooden coaster. I don't believe they're getting a RMC, a Rocky Mountain Construction wooden coaster. Why we ask some people will say why? I don't think they're getting the RMC because they already got twisted timbers. They don't need a, another RMC at this moment. I don't believe another RMC is happening. The only thing that I think could replace Hypersonic is maybe a clone. Maybe they could keep the top hat and they could replace um, replace the rest of the helixes with an inversion. Just like one inversion, then if they added this BNM wing coaster, and if they added this SNS launch coaster, I think it would be good actually. So basically, I'm just gonna sum up the video so I can end it. Basically, in 2021, I believe that King's Dominion will get its new r roller coaster replacing Volcano the Blast coaster. Because like I said, if you count up the numbers on Expedition is on the Horizon teaser, it will add to the year or the number 21. So I believe 2021, King's Dominion is getting their new coaster. And I believe I'm predicting in 2027 that King's Dominion could get another launch coaster that will hopefully replace Hypersonic because the station still hasn't been used. And like I said, it's still there. So I think I really summed up the point. Basically, I think that Max Force looks actually looks good. So, yeah. So I think that ends the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'm on the road 150 subscribers. So make sure you guys subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.